So I started with this page, a pretty simple page. I just have a, um, a simple table with a bunch of KPIs and uh, conditional formatting to help me understand where things are going right or wrong. And I did the price value mix, uh, both for revenue and margins, so I can understand if my revenue growth is profitable or not. I've modified this page now to support those other two visuals. So let's start with the trellis. So I actually like that custom visual quite a bit. I, uh, after having worked with that previous custom visual for the waterfall chart, I had kind of low expectations. Um, I think uh, there's a lot of functional pieces in this visual that I really like. I don't think this is still 100% there. So you can see, for example, that these fonts don't look very well. And there's a couple of things that are confusing as you, nav as you try to use this thing for navigation, as you interact with this. But overall, I think this visual has a lot of potential. It has the same problem in terms of complexity and not being able to understand easily how to use it as the custom waterfall, as the ultimate waterfall chart. Uh, it took me a while to figure things out. I had to uh, look at the website, look at the documentation. So it's just not super intuitive, but uh, I was able to build what I wanted to build. Uh, the best feature of this is this ability to top end. So with this, what I've done here is I have a lot of different brands. So I just said, let's do top nine brands or eight brands and all other brands went into the last square. So that's cool. So if you have a lot of, uh, so you could actually use this for navigation. Um, uh, I, you know, when it, when you, when it blows up like this, then again, you have a lot of different options. You could, you have conditional formatting. So I formatted, um, different, uh, what do I have a channel in different color. So that was good. Um, pretty cool support in terms of formatting. I also liked the navigational part of this. Uh, what I did, I did earlier, uh, last week, I think I did a video about breadcrumbs and they really came in handy, uh, with this. So as long as I have this breadcrumbs, so I know where I'm at, I can use this chart to navigate. So I could click, for example, brand two, and you see that selected brand two here, I can click on brand one. So if I click at the very top, it multi selects. If I click in the middle, it just selects one brand. So, um, I had to figure all this stuff out. So you could probably train your uh, customers to use it. So if you click at the, at the title, it multi selects. So pretty cool uh, in terms of navigation, or you could pick, click on individual channel. So here I clicked on a uh, retail channel and it says the channel retail brand uh, 03. If I had not done those breadcrumbs though, this navigation is not easy. I read through the documentation that there is a breadcrumb feature in the chart itself. I could not figure out how to do it. I only spent maybe 10, 15 minutes on this visual. The time that I did spend, uh, makes me want to spend more. So unlike the ultimate waterfall where every minute I spent with the chart, I wanted to spend less, uh, when I was working with this chart, you know, I was actually genuinely interested to learn more and figure out how to use it again, a lot of quirks. Uh, my advice is this. So let's take a look at the licensing model for this thing. So now I'm on XViz website and you can see that they're pricing tier volume licensing for one user. They're charging $1 and 50 cents. And then, um, the, tr the price per user, uh, drops, uh, with, uh, as the volume increases. So these are monthly uh, figures build annually. So, uh, for a larger company, for a thousand people company, you're looking at what is the $600 a month or six, you know, let's say $7,000, let's say $10,000 a year. That's not a lot of money. The problem is acquiring all this stuff, going through the purchasing and dealing with all of that kind of stuff. If you work for a large company, I've looked at some other visuals that these guys, that these guys have, I'm not sure how much money these guys are going to make and uh, how many of this uh, visuals are going to sell. Frankly, uh, I think the quality of visuals is pretty good. They're filling the gap that currently exists. Um, my hope would be that Microsoft just acquires this company and we're just going to get these visuals, uh, that they're going to be just part of power BI. I can't imagine that, um, these guys are going to make a killing given the, their licensing model. Um, they would have to have millions of users to make some uh, decent money. I'm guessing that the best exit strategy is to have Microsoft purchase their IP, purchase these charts and add them. 
um, as standard charts to Power BI or make them free on App Source.